Alrighty guys, so welcome to Race Room. So this is a free quote quote game that you guys can uh, get on Steam. And uh, one thing that you're going to notice is we'll go to the single event and we're going to try and select a car and uh, track. So let's select a car here. So we can go to here. So this car we have owned. Uh, this car we have owned. This car we have owned right here, the uh, Saline uh, S7R. But if we come to here, it's all uh, by now on all of these different vehicles. So definitely a little bit more of a uh, in-game pay-to-play type uh, world that's going on here. Got a Daytona prototype. That thing's pretty. Remember seeing those? Those are neat. There's uh, there's a few different car options that we can go with here. Uh, let me see. I think I was going with what do I have selected? Got the saline, and then we actually got several paint schemes that we can uh, select from here that are actually uh, included. So that's nice. We'll just go with um, sure. We'll go with Chuck Jones, whoever that is. Uh, we can also select our AI opponents for the sake of it. All of the cars. All the trucks are going to be um, the uh, truck series because apparently we can do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, AI di difficulty, you can get adaptive AI. You can get 120 difficulty AI. We'll just go with 80 and see what we got. We can select uh, what time we start. Uh, time multipliers, we've got all of those up to 25 speed. Uh, damage, we can put that on and off. Tire wear. Got up to four times, four times on fuel. We got two minute practice session, so we can customize quite a lot of stuff here, which is pretty cool. Looking at, uh, we can do all the different rule setups. So DTM 2015, ADAC, da 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 da. Uh, we got single session qualifying. We got a one minute qualifying session. We might need two minutes to be able to actually make that work. Race length is uh, put in laps here. We we'll do two two laps that'll be good we got the option to put in a race two if we wanted to we have that off uh, race two grid qualifying all that so we can put that on or off if we so desired to uh, do looks like we got a bunch of other options flag rules uh, black only visual only complete uh, drive through this is on track penalties so we can turn that off uh, mandatory pit stop that's currently off uh, minimum minute pit stop duration I'm not sure what that is but we do have that track options you can see right here buy now buy now buy now buy now but uh, let's look at what tracks are here that you could buy so obviously we got uh, let's see we got C Peng uh, race room raceway that's uh, available so this must be fictional so that's kinda cool go back to tracks we got the Stowe circuit we got the uh, Portugal circuit it looks like we got um, uh, Bathurst we got that Blisterberg Brad's Hatch uh, Brad's Hatch Indy uh, whatever that one's called Chang International Circuit de Charade uh, Circuit de Paulville Circuit Zandevoort Circuit Zoder uh, Daytona this has uh, so obviously we can pay, what is it, items, da, 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 would be $5.37 uh, in change to be able to get that. It's a premium pack, so that's American Track Pack right there. What have we got the premium pack? Uh, we have to go to the store for more information, but it's got three track layouts. So we, there's probably oval, and then... Uh, Road course and then shortened road course is what I would probably guess is what's in there. Uh, we got Donington Park, uh, Dubai, uh, Falkenberg, uh, Hawker Marine, uh, Amola, Indianapolis 2012. Uh, this is Indianapolis Motor Speedway, so this must be a newer version. Uh, let's see here, see if there's anyone's. Uh, Mid Ohio's in here, Monza Circuit, uh, Moscow Raceway, don't remember that one. Uh, 
was trying to see any tracks that I actually recognize here. New, uh, Nuremberg, obviously. Paul Ricard, that's in here. Red Bull uh, Ring or Spielberg. Uh, Road America's in here. You get uh, Silverstone Circuit, Slovakia, Sonoma, uh, Spa, uh, Suzuki, the TT Circuit. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, Watkins Glen's in here. You get uh, WeatherTech, which obviously is. Um, Oh, now I forget the, the name of it, but WeatherTech Raceway there. But anyways, you got lots of track options if you're willing to pay. If you're willing to pay to play, you got plenty of options. So let's go to Stowe here. We'll do the we'll do the short track, and let's let's see what the racing experience is like here. Alrighty, so here we are racing a bunch of trucks because <laughs> why ever not? Cars set up here, so let's take a look at what we can do. So we can do brake bias, which is really, really cool. Get that nice and even brake pressure, lower the brake pressure just a little bit. Uh, we can change up our... Well, uh, nope, looks like it's stuck on hard. Doesn't look like we can uh, change that at all, honestly. Uh, front, we got the anti-roll bar tow-in, downforce, uh, spring rate, tire pressure, ride height. Uh, let me see here. Is there a... Do we have settings? We have settings in the menu. Ooh, options. Here we go. Let me see here. Gameplay. Let's take a look here. Traction control is currently on. ABS is on. Uh, did it do? Automatic. Novice. That works. Stability. Uh, AI in pit lane. Counter steer assist. AI control and cooldown lap. Race line. Show ghost cars. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Camera effects. HUD. System. Let's see. Aha! Here we are. Imperial! Thank you. That will help me out a whole lot. Don't need to use the metric system if we don't need to because it really doesn't do that much for me. Alright, so now let's go back to the car setup, and aha! That's much better. Now I can actually understand what I'm looking at here. So we got our right inches, we got our PSI in the tires. Much, much easier to figure that out. Okay, cool, because I was, I was going buggy looking at, looking at that with the metric system. That thing's nuts. Alrighty, so Imperial all the way, because we are America. America! Alrighty, so we got our engine brake and reduction. Got our first gear that we looks like we can go through and uh, do all of this. Preload. So we can customize quite a lot of this, it looks like. Uh, doesn't look like we can customize any of that. But it looks like if we do final gear, obviously that will switch things up for us. So we'll leave that as it is. Electronics, that's all the traction control we get. Tire pressure, this this is the real gonna go ahead and lower tire pressure in the back here just so we have a little bit more uh grip back there. So alright, so we do have setups. Doesn't seem like it's quite as in depth as like uh, Project Cars 2, but it's there, so that's nice. Race monitor, we can oh good night, we got all the trucks lined up. <laughs> that's crazy looking. Uh pit road. Uh, presets, we can go through there. Options, obviously, so easily accessible. We can also skip session if we so desired. Let's go ahead and head out on track here. Let's see what we can do here. There we go. Ooh, that side view is not that good. Oh, wow. That thing has some good sound. I love that we got trucks on here. This is hilarious. Passing. It's really not that bad. Very stiff right now. Obviously, we can take off some of the uh, racing assists later on. It's just I like to start with that just so that I know for sure what I'm getting into. Some good brakes. Definitely very reminiscent, just looking at this whole thing, it's very reminiscent of uh, iRacing. 
just what I've seen. A little bit different, obviously, but just similar in all the information you're kind of getting. I'm gonna cut through here. This lab will not count. We've got a lot of time to cut a track. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, one of these things that the simulators never looks at. Have you seen the cars race at Daytona going, cutting that corner as far as they can? And that's, that's just not just NASCAR, that's IMSA too. So I was like, yeah, I guess what, those lap times do count. So I love it when they invalidate uh, your lap time. Obviously, if I'm, if I'm going straight through the grass, sure, why not? But if I'm just touching a little bit, like, it's like, hey, that's runoff. I'm gonna see that. This is one thing I hate about the super strict nonsense like this. It's like, dude, that's runoff. The lap time still counts. I don't care what you, what, what the system thinks. That's runoff right there. So I don't know what it wants me to do, but it's like, hey, it's like I'm getting used to this. It's like, see right there. Get the wheels off. The runoff. So it's like, I don't know what what it's thinking here. It's like right here. Sure, there's cones there, but guess what? I had to get around the truck. So that's uh, that's runoff. So I don't know. That's one of those things that I think I would hate about iRacing if I was in it. I'd be arguing with the rules too much, just because it's like, come on! I know you're supposed to keep it on the track, but I also know that that's not how actual race car drivers drive. So it's like, come on, <laughs> give it to me. All right, we're up to qualifying here. I like the sounds. The sounds are good. Steering's a little bit slow, honestly. Obviously, I'm doing it on a controller, so and there's probably some settings I can go through and test out. I do have a little gauge over here, taking a look at that. So we got uh, fuel. Looks like we have infinity on fuel. We do have tires, so we'll probably see when those wear out. Uh, we got uh, bumper damage, engine damage. We got like an alert system. We got some other. Uh, signature there as well, giving us some information. So not totally sure what all that's about. As I said, I have not really looked into. Oh, good. That next lap will not count because you left the track. It's called runoff. As I said, like the, look at that right there. See, see, runoff. I ran off the track. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Take way. I love that I'm racing all these giant trucks, this is honestly hilarious, so I actually do like what we're doing here, it's pretty neat. I think there's a replay mode as well, so I have to double check that after the race, but come on, get out of my way truck, hey, I'm the faster car, boo! Sounds good, really sound, really, it's really good. Oh, good, that, that is absolutely awful, so, ooh, okay, so you get a different sound from uh, the different cameras, so that's neat. Excuse me, Mr. Truck. I need to get through here, please. Oh, that's that's pretty buggy. So there's only four tracks. So, I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm going to end up uh, if I'm going to keep the game or not. I'm not really interested in spending four bucks and getting nickel and dimed for eternity. So it's like, yeah. It is nice that it's free. Well, I, mean, I guess if I think about it, that's better than iRacing is, honestly. Just because with that, you're constantly paying a subscription and having to pay for the cars and the tracks that you want to add on. Whereas this, the base game's free, you just can pay for the tracks and the stuff that you want. So, I mean, is it better? Honestly, probably. It probably isn't that bad, now that I'm actually thinking that through. Okay, so we got Race Monitor options let me see if we got a field of view aha here we go so I want to move back a little bit here from the vehicle uh, let's see if this is advanced advanced uh, I'm not sure about all that this is screen head height offset da 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 we'll see if if we move it back if that helps any there controls sound video so we're running 1080 display display mode aspect ratio so all that's running good uh, gameplay let's do I'm not sure what the factory TC is I think oh uh, by factory from the car factory not the uh, other sustainability control. Ooh, here we go. So we'll leave traction control on. We'll take the uh, stability off, though, a little bit. Counter steer. 
assist. Let's turn that off. AF control. That that's fine. Ideal race line. Oh no, challenged. I don't know what that means. We're going to turn that off though. Ghost cars. We'll leave that on. Uh, transmission. We're going to leave that as automatic for right now. Video sound controls. Just checking some stuff out here. Shift, prevention, speed, sensitive steering. So this right here is kind of like um, your dead zones and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So all this is dead zones. So you can mess around with that. Uh, key bindings, obviously, you can mess with that. Uh, control sets. Currently, we got a valve steam controller. That's what we got going on there. Uh, da, 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 stereo. Ooh, headphones. Dolby sound. Uh, we'll switch this to headphones. Nah, stereo's fine. It, it sounded pretty good, so we'll leave it there. So there's plenty of options to mess around with stuff uh, if you really want to. So that's good to know. Okay, we got three laps rolling starts. Let's start it out here and see what we can do. Look at all the trucks coming to swallow up my saline. That's hilarious. Oh, hold on. Let me see. Can we switch? Oh, in